welcome back to my channel if you're new hi welcome my name is Raya and thank you so much for tuning in today and in today's video I've got some outfit ideas for Valentine's Day I wanted to put together some like wearable outfits um, that's kind of like sexy but you can like but still wearable as well if you're going to like you know wherever you're going whatever you're doing so anyways I'm not gonna ramble on I am just gonna get into it so guys the first outfit is like a uh, faux leather kind of black and beigey white outfit so I've got this black faux leather top uh, this is actually from Shein this top but I will link it you've probably seen it before uh, and it's super duper comfortable and flattering and I've just popped this uh, blazer on this is um, an old blazer it's a blue play blazer from Armani Exchange and I've just got these leggings on these are from H&M I did buy them I don't know if I can say recently but around a few weeks ago um, or just before maybe and I really like them they're super duper comfy I love the color especially to wear this time of year I love to wear lighter colors to bring me more into my winter spring months and I paired it with shoes you can pair these with boots but I thought if you're going out and I just think sometimes shoes just you know I think they're just more dressy up so um with this I'd probably take a little probably take like a little bag actually if i'm going out to dinner um like this i like this bag more so so i'd probably go for this bag but i just feel like it's a bit a lot smarter so i do uh, like this together and the next outfit i've got is this um i've kept the leggings on i got this top from pretty little thing in my uh last haul for faux leather and i love these together i think i love this tank top i've just I just love it because um, there's a few ways that I can wear this but I think it goes really well with the colour of the leggings it's kind of like a stone colour and then I've got these nude shoes now I'd probably wear this bag because the colours just go like they just tie in really well um, again I'd probably put on a blazer with this depending where I'm going or if you're comfortable like if you're going to a bar then you know probably just put your jacket on top uh, but otherwise I'd probably wear a little cardi or a little something like blazer thing on top um, I'm just trying to think what I've got that would go because so I'd probably wear like a blazer or a cardi or something on top of this but I really do like it um, like this Don't, because it is going to be cold so unless it's somewhere really warm um, you probably want to wear something like on top um, but this is a cute outfit i think so the good thing with this outfit is that you can if you're going somewhere like casual you can absolutely wear some knitwear like a knitwear cardigan on top um and obviously if you're going somewhere quite dressy um then you can just wear a blazer so it really kind of depends where you go and what you feel most comfortable in but i really really do love this outfit i love the color of this top so this, um, you're going to see this again for sure because I really like the top, it's just so comfortable. So the next outfit is outfit number three and again I love this. I wouldn't just wear it like this, I would definitely wear it with this on top because I think it's such a nice, like, ex not accessory but it just really completes the whole outfit. So I mean this is what it looks like obviously without, I've got the matching shoes here that go really well and I just love the brown colour or camel tones and I think this just really completes the outfit and where it's cold I don't know like what the weather's going to be like in a couple of weeks but I can't imagine it's going to be that warm so I still think you can definitely wear this like a long cardi like this it really just completes the look completely um for sure just everything about this it's just so nice um i probably have to pull the sleeves up though but it's just like all together just so nice like this is just such a flattering um outfit and it just goes so well you can even belt it what color do you think is probably best um the dior or the coach i think the coach one the colors are just vibing like a lot more and just wear it as a clutch depending on where you're going or as a shoulder bag um, but this is probably my favourite outfit so let me know which one is your favourite outfit 
and this is uh, a different outfit now in um my last video i think i had this rolled up so you can have it like this but i think it looks really flattering like just like this i just love this color i don't know what you would call this color let me know in the comments down below i don't know if it's called like petrol blue or something but it's more muted in real life it's not as uh, bright on the screen but it doesn't look too bad and i've paired it with the same leggings um now again i don't have a blazer that would go like all around with everything I would like to think that I have something that I could like wear with this to make it like work but I don't have like a blazer that's like a camel tone and with this colour I don't like to mix too many colours um, I like to keep it generally like a one look so this is um, how I would wear it and um, is another idea. You can wear some knitwear, blazer on top, um, or like a long dress party. Um, but I do really like this. This is so like warm, and I am loving. So, so this next, so this next outfit is a lot dressier, but I think it's really cute. Um, this top is um, from Shein and it's the, from the Motif brand at Shein which is their like high quality stuff and oh, I love viscose and like modal fabric because it's just so so soft but not only that this really hugs you around the chest area and it's just so flattering and I bought this white vinyl skirt which I think is a bit more summery but you can definitely rock it. And I've just paired it with like the same coloured shoes, but really you could wear some nice white shoes with this. This would look really cute. And I would definitely, and I would definitely wear it with this. Like I just love the pink. Like pink isn't like my favourite colour, despite the fact that I've got my nails done in this kind of rosy colour. It's called Rosewood uh, by D G D N D or D N something, uh, like a shade like gel colour. And um, yeah, it's kind of a pinky colour. But anyways, um, love the kind of muted pink tones, the white. Um, of course, you can wear it with a different type of skirt um, or even a black leather skirt. But I really like lighter colours going into like February, March time. So for Valentine's Day, I think this is really cute. It's not like too overly dressy but it's still dressy. That's one of my faves. Let me know which one's yours and I think the Dior bag goes perfectly um, with this outfit. And I really hope that I gave you some outfit inspiration um, for Valentine's Day um, or even just going out anyways. So uh, thank you so much for watching but I, I do want to show you my kitchen and I've been meaning to do it and I haven't quite finished. I've been reluctant but I just want to show you it. So um, if you uh, don't want to see it then thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. And um, if you do want to see it then um, hang tight. So this is, um, wow, you can hear the echo and it's really bad but oh my gosh the lighting is actually not too bad in here. I think I need to get one of those little GoPro -y things. Um, and like, oh my god, there's like a blue bag on the floor. That's my tea towels that need to go in the wash. Um, but anyways, these I will probably give you a full kind of video, like when I do like a proper kitchen reveal, so that way I can show you guys um, where I got things from and the companies that I would recommend because we've used some decent companies and the quality of everything is pretty like you know good. I like to think. So if I show you, this is, uh, we haven't got any skirting here. As you can see, this is my next job. Uh, well, not for me to do personally, but the um, kitchen is uh, an English uh, shaker style kitchen. And this is like my fridge freezer. I'll probably open it and show you guys when I do a proper reveal thing. Um, I've just got some ovens. Hello, you can see my reflection. And um, as you can see, some wires hanging off the walls. We haven't quite finished. Um, this is the island unit um, we've got like solid brass handles where I think we've got um, I'll go through like the materials in another video but I just wanted to show you guys I haven't completely finished like, I haven't got a backsplash or anything like that but 
we are going to definitely get one. Uh, we've got an old dining table from my husband's flat years ago. So I want, I want a wooden table, but these chairs, like check my chairs out. My father-in-law gave us these years ago and I love them, I'm obsessed with them, but there's only two and I think the rest of them are in my husband's house in France. So I'm gonna go, um, I don't know, I, I think I'll probably go this year and um, probably check for it if it's in there. I think I wanna film this properly for you guys because I'm being really annoying. Um, and our sliding doors. So that is pretty much it. I will probably go into it in a more, like when I've properly finished it, I wanna do a proper reveal, reveal sort of thing. But I do wanna show you guys only because if anyone um, is having their kitchen done or is looking to have their kitchen done or get things, then I think like, telling you guys about certain things might be quite helpful. Only because in a build, you don't always know what's going to happen. You have like drawbacks sometimes, um, you know, funds come, are, are low, you run out of money, you know, like basically shit happens. And um, it's a miracle that we've managed to pull this all together. So, um, yeah, I'm quite happy that we did and I was shocked that we got in just before Christmas. So, anyways, um, but I do, I'm, I'm really excited to show you guys like stuff and be like, I got this from here and yeah, because if you're looking for similar stuff, it's not always easy making a decision. Um, but I think you've got to find things that represent you and who you are in your home, not just because you think other people might like it, like your home is your home. So, um, no matter what your taste is, it's got to represent you and you've got to be happy when you're in here um, looking at the stuff. So, not finished in here. I'm going to turn you guys around because, um, no, 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 where, where, where am I? Here, that's a gas pipe. So we want a gas fire. We've got a log fire at, in the other room, but here it's just going to be when you come in late at night. You don't want to start up a fire um, for two hours because it's just not worth it. Oh, my favourite. But when I say they are a nightmare, they're a nightmare because they need more ceiling and everything going on this floor is damaging and staining it. Not food, but like more like oil and it's not getting scratched, but it can stain. And we spoke with the um, people, like the specialists, and they said it probably needs more ceiling, like one coat wasn't enough. So we're gonna clean it up properly and get it properly sealed. Um, and these are my planters and patio. I think you guys have seen it. And I build a like, cement mixer and the cover that's like over there, which he hasn't collected. So it's looking a bit like dead at the back, but the garden hopefully will be coming back to life um, this year, come spring. So it's very echoey in here. Um, but I think once I've got furniture down, rugs, filled it up, filled the walls up with stuff, it won't be as echoey. So I say that, but then upstairs is quite echoey, but then again, it's one of the empty rooms. So sorry about that. Anyways, I hope the echo hasn't been too annoying for you guys. And I hope that you like the kitchen. Obviously it's not to everyone's taste and liking and stuff, but um, it is mine. So um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys soon in my next video.